KKHT wants you to meet three of the classiest guys in real estate. I am Chris Kelso, the maestro of mortgage. I am Rob Cook, the godfather of real estate. And I'm Joe Orsack, the king of credit swing. And together, we're the, the real, real estate, estate Rat, Rat Pack. Pack. Much like us, real estate right now is smoking hot. So whether it's buying, selling, or owning, you need to check out the Real Estate Rat Pack. They're here to take your calls and answer your questions live. Call now, one 800 808 we're going to start this show off like we did last show. Yes. Yes, absolutely. You know, it's just a continuation throughout the week. It, it never really stops. It just keeps going. <laughs> My wife was mad at us. She wanted to know more about the pool, and, and we were laughing too much. Because <laughs> she is in full court press for a pool. Well, I, so I know Brett like, Hatfield would be willing to come out to your house yes. and talk more about that yes. pool for you. So. Yet another thing I, I, I'm, I'm certain of. <laughs> yes, We yes. actually are going to talk to him, though, about it, because we, we are seriously getting a pool. And what a great time to mention. He is a new sponsor. <laughs> He's a great new sponsor. That is correct. That's right. That's With Down, down Under, under Pools. pools. We, I think we made him laugh so much last week we shook his wallet out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I would concur with you there. <laughs> I, I think he had a lot of fun, though. He did. And, it, man, he's got some beautiful pools, man. We spent a lot of time on his website checking him out. And man, he's got some gorgeous, I mean, seriously gorgeous pools. He I'm not just them, saying yeah. that because he's a sponsor. And, I mean. and just so you know, Joe, you can put a pool in a new house as well. <laughs> we can. And, you know, we have people Rob, here who can actually help is, you move. This is my compromise, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to move. <laughs> and especially, you know, and especially you, you want to do it in the uh, construction phase before they you know, build the house. Yes. They can go ahead and dig that ho- hole in the backyard. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. That way, when you move in, it's all ready to go for it's you. All, it's all good. It's all good. It's not off the table, but Kim has kind of said, you know, if we aren't going to get a new house, then we are getting a pool. Well, then, you and know, that was kind of a gonna... period, and she's already got money saved, and, you know, she's stashing cash on me. We're going to lose a lot of fodder for conversation, though. Yeah, yeah. that's correct. If, if you... I can't leave any money on the counters. I'm just telling you. Okay. And, you know, and let me let me <laughs> tell you something, John. John. <laughs> you know, we were, we, were, we were talking here because we had some great guests. I'm going to introduce you to the show. Guests. But, you know, one of, the, one of the guests that we have here are actually very similar to Kim. She rules the roost. But I'll let you introduce <laughs> them first, though. Absolutely. Some new friends of mine. I want to make sure I get their company name right here. Uh, the Real Estate People. Really, really glad to have them on. Names are at least easy. I got that part. I just wanted to make sure that we had your company name right. The Real Estate People. Both uh, Misty and James Lucas and my old friend Askia, who has just, just arrived in the studios. Uh, the, the, his limo was running late. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we got to talk to that driver. You just can't get good limo service. Yeah, you just can't get good limo drivers anymore. But, you know, the subject yeah. matter today is from apartments to homes. Yes, yes. You know, it's a, it's a subject we don't touch on Wait, enough on the show. It has become a huge part of the market. Since huge part of the market. 2008, leasing has gone up exponentially. It went up from 2008 to 2009, 25%. And even in a robust sales year of 2013, it was still up 19%. It's crazy. Wow. It's crazy. Well, you know, when you're when you're moving to one of the hottest cities in America and uh, there's just not and, and literally. Y- yes, yes, you know. Uh yes, <laughs> exactly. Uh and there's just not enough housing on the market. We can't get enough houses to, uh, you know, out there to to list. I mean, it's just uh, they're gone as fast as they get on the market it seems like. You know, leasing is becoming a, a lot hotter uh, button right now. We know I was talking with uh, James and Miss before the show, and they're talking about the trend is that, that they actually want to take people from that rental piece and ultimately move them into a home. So let's kind of start there. Absolutely. So kind of talk about your process. Well, uh, our process and is... And talk uh, about how long you've been in the business and things like that. Let's talk about you. Who the heck are you? <laughs> who the heck are you? <laughs> why, well, why are you I, here I, today? I am who my wife says I am, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but he today, is very well educated. T- today, today, I'm the broker of the real estate people alongside with my wife, Misty uh, Lucas, and our office manager, Skia Bell. We've been in the business for uh, seven years now. In the past two or three years, when it comes to apartment leasing, we've never seen this before. We've seen 30% price increases when it comes to apartment homes. I've leased at one property for the past seven years, one bedrooms between five ninety nine and seven thirty four. That one bedroom now is between nine thirty and ten fifty. Unbelievable. I mean, it's unbelievable. Kids, basic economic system, supply and demand. I mean, when the supply is low and the demand is high, 
prices are going to increase. Now we just need more properties being built, as you see there, being built now as we speak, which is good for us as agents, as apartment locators. But now we're more than just apartment locators. We're, we're our client's agent in every aspect. Yeah, you actually had a name change because of that. Because you're, we you're had to have a name change, exactly. I mean, we've had some people that were living in apartment homes for quite some time that we've had as clients in the past move into homes. And now they're listing their homes in the past seven years of our clients. We've got a couple of half a million dollar homes on HAR. You can go by and look at our listings. Uh, just look up James Lucas. You'll see my wife and I. We see our listings there. We didn't want to put apartment search outside of their door because that's what we were in the past. So my wife came up with this great idea. She said, hey, babe, let's change the name the name of the company because we've got a lot of clients that we've put in apartment communities in the past looking to buy homes. And now we've got clients looking to list homes. And so we didn't expect that when we first got into the business as being apartment locators. We, we just looked at being an apartment locator, putting them in, in an apartment and moving on. But now we're seeing that it's a cycle. And so um, I said, well, you know, you've got a gift of that. So what's going to be the new name? And she said, well, let's let's see. I mean, she came up with it immediately. And she said, the real estate people. I said, babe, that's just too that's too catchy and too good. That's not going to be available. And she said, well, let's call Austin and see. She called Austin, Texas, found out that it was available. We LLC'd it. We revamped the whole company. And um, we're getting a real good buzz about it. I mean, um, Askia is doing a great job in getting us out in the community we, we've already got hundreds of clients that we've put in apartments, but now we're just informing our clients that we've had a name change and that we're going to help them through the cycle of moving from an apartment and getting your credit credit worthy um, through Joe, Joe's uh, company. Yeah. Oh, already, yeah. What a segue. <laughs> and, uh, man, let me tell you something. Oh, Joe, Joe came into our office, and he owned the office. I thought, yeah. I, I thought my wife was the boss. And I was the boss afterwards. <laughs> Joe came in and said, "Listen, man, you got all of the, I hear you got all of these families and apartments. We're gonna we're gonna convert them from renters into buyers." I said, "Man, I've got some credit issues with some of my clients. Not anymore." Man, he sat us down and he schooled us from A to Z. I said, "Man, isn't that something?" And uh, so we went from there. And now we've got some of our renters actually into involved in his system of getting their credit credit worthy. And those who get that credit credit worthy will then be ready to buy like into the buying process. Rather than say clean up your credit, say credit worthy. Because yeah, a absolutely. lot of times they, they get uh, they just have erroneous information on there. Yeah. And, and, and you and know the 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 biggest reason why I wanted to have you guys on the radio was that uh, philosophy. I know plenty of uh, apartment locators. Um, for me, it's something I'm passionate about. My company's uh, mission statement is building stronger communities, and for me. Uh, there, there are times and places for apartments. I'm not going to bash on them, you know, just all out. But apartments are temporary housing. Mm -hmm. They were never meant to be permanent housing. In order to build, there's so much data that to show it. Uh, the strength of the family, uh, the difference between an apartment and a home, education, everything. Everything is impacted when you are able to move into that home. And it's something I really, really believe in. So when you guys talked about that, and that was your philosophy of being focused on moving them from an apartment into housing, I was like, absolutely. Because there, there's a place. I mean, you yeah. have those bumps in the road in life and all those sort of things, and apartment is just the right place to be at that time. Well, well the mindset is you're, you're a temporary resident, and the, and the mindset is that you have the pride of ownership once you're in a home. Absolutely. So, and it changes the whole dynamic. Absolutely. And that's why a lot of subdivisions won't even allow a certain percentage of homes to be rentals. They're very clear on that. You can, you know, you can. They'll only allow maybe you know five percent of the homes to be a rental unit. And you've got you've got different type of renters for different type of reasons. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Talk about the yeah, average. <clears throat> yeah. Let's say it. for instance, let's go to the suburban area, Katy, where you guys were just right. What you were saying, you've got. Let's say for instance, you've got a family that wants to lease a three bedroom, three bedroom in three bedroom in Katy three years ago, ten ninety nine, three bedroom in Katy fifteen hundred. Wow. Okay. So you've got a family, like you said, an apartment is good for us now. We might not be able to be home owners at the time. We get them into the, into the system of leasing an apartment for 12 months, getting them credit worthy and buying, right? Because they can't buy at that moment. Now, let's go inside, inside the loop. All right. You've got the engineer or the young accountant or the young attorney who doesn't want to buy a home right now. He wants to live in a, he or she wants to live in a 2,500, uh, 700 square foot um, apartment. They want to be inside the loop where everything is happening. Mm -hmm. And so they want to do that for two years. So we put them inside of those apartment homes, stay in constant contact with them, and then eventually, you never know, they may get engaged or they may want to settle down a little bit, move into the suburban area, or stay inside the loop and now buy mm -hmm. a condominium. And so you have people renting for different reasons. Some people rent not because they can't purchase. 
They rent because it's just right for them at that moment. Absolutely. They do have the credit. They are credit worthy, but they're young and they want to be inside the loop. They want to be where it's happening. They want to rent a nice townhome or a nice penthouse and then buy a condominium later on. And so when we go to the back to the suburban area, we've got families who are renting because they just can at the moment. And we have that's where myself, that's where Misty, that was where Skia, that's where you guys come in, Joe and Rob. You guys come in to where we help those families become homeowners in the future when we get them credit worthy and ready to buy. Well, let's not leave Chris out of this because once they get there. Well. <laughs> oh, Chris is here. I was waiting for his <laughs> wife to come in and tell me what to do and tell, tell me to mention him. <laughs> but it's, it, is, it, is, it is a cycle and it's a process and things. But, you know, uh, a lot of people don't understand, well, I, I can't, I don't have good credit, so I'm going to lease now. But the fact is you still have to have good credit. Lease. Yeah, the lease. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And we get plenty of people on the that. show. Actually, is that you had uh, you had made offers and things like that. You had someone who had good credit and someone who had, you know, uh, uh, excellent credit. credit, but someone offered more and they were able to to I, get that deal. I've never seen it like that before, and, and, and Missy can attest to this as well. Is that if we um, let her talk? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, she, she's gonna take over in a little while. I'm trying to get all mine in. Rob, now. you didn't notice, but she pulled off one of her shoes. <laughs> oh, I think she, she, she was, sure did. Go ahead. I, I think she was gonna smack you with it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> <laughs> so true. But no, seriously, it is a cycle, and we have to make sure that people are sometime knowledgeable to know about how the cycle works. It's so important to make sure that you have your clients well informed because when you have an informed client, it makes your job easy. Yeah. And also something that the real estate people thrive on is definitely, definitely top notch five star customer service. And how we can deliver that customer service is that we're knowledgeable in getting our clients very well educated about the process. So literally we take our couples that just graduated from UT, Texas Tech, whatever, we get them as clients and we start them off thin. You know, hey, this is what you get. You get your apartment because you know something that is really, really weird is people don't understand like this is a contract. You can't just break your lease. It goes on your credit. You'll be really surprised to know that a lot of young people don't get that. They're like, okay, they'll be in an apartment and they're like, well, Misty, I, they'll call me they're like Misty I don't like this about the apartment community they're making me mad I just want to leave and I have to literally sit them down hey no that's not what you do because it'll put this ding on your credit and then we'll have problems in the long run because as you mentioned now apartment communities are really wanting to have good credit as well so it's just very important that we make sure that our clients are very well informed about the process that's what I like about when Joe came into the office, he helped us, and then now we can pass Joe, did you pay them? So, I, I, <laughs> no, you would he think. Just really did a, he just really did an awesome job. But Thank then you. Now you get well connected because for me, when I pass my clients off to someone, it's very important that I know that they care and that they're really knowledgeable. So now we have Chris as a loan officer that we can filter our clients through. Well, you know, and one thing I wanted to tell, tell everybody, and what you were talking about is very true, not only is it important not to break your lease if you're out there, but remember, mortgage companies are going to go out there and they're going to do a verification of rent. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, if there is, if it's an institutional VOR, we're going to have to know that you can legally get out of that contract. And if not, then that either has to be counted against you, or if you get out of it illegally and it's counted and, and you, you have a late payment, that then goes against the ding that says, guess what? It counts just like a mortgage late. So then all of a sudden, it, it, it derails your ability to buy right there. Absolutely. The other thing is, I thought was very good, as you mentioned. I've always said this, an educated consumer is your best consumer out there. And what you all provide, I think, is absolutely incredible. It's education, it's information, it's ongoing information. Also, not only when they get into the home or the apartment in this case, but also everything they can do in the steps to move out of there in the future. Or we were talking about this you know, before the show started. A lot of people also still are real estate opportunity investors. Absolutely. Just because they're renting doesn't mean they don't have an interest in real estate. And that's very important to note as well. Exactly. True. Well, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> tell a little bit about our services um, is that uh, we are the real estate people. Uh, we're located off of West Time and Derry Ashford. Um, our number is 281-493-2100. Um, uh, something that's the reason why you would use our services, we find you a place for free. We actually have a moving company that will move you for free into your new apartment home. And then we'll keep in constant contact with you as well to make sure that you're on the schedule of purchasing at the end of your lease contract. Interesting and that we had that moving company. With absolutely. Today. today, you know, but <laughs> unfortunately what happens is time right. flies when you're having fun and we have to take a break right now. 800-808-5548. For any questions you have, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Such as you, me 
It's an oh immovable object like me. You can bet as sure as you live. Welcome back to the Real Estate Rat Pack Radio Show with Chris, Joe, and Rob. The crew is taking your calls, so dial in at 1 800 808 5548. And right, we are back. And we're live. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, why do I feel compelled to do that dude's voice I every time we come back from break? No. Because it's such a good voice. Yes, no. it is. With you. Yes. Such a good voice. You know, and we're having such a good Sigma. show. We are, we are learning so much today. If you want to call in and ask a question of our great guest, call in at 800 808 5548. We are here live to take your phone call. And Joe, since you, you, uh, and thank you for this. You put a, together a great group today. Uh, why don't you go and you. introduce our next one? Because that uh, was a great segue that he that, that they had. Lucas has had a mover, and guess what? He's in he's in the studio. We have a phenomenal mover. We cool. only as as is is historical of the show. We only bring on the best of the best. Joe, thanks very much. I certainly appreciate that. Y- you bet. This is uh, Benny Gidry. Why don't Benny? Why don't you give the, the folks a little background on a rocket moving? Well, first of all. A Rocket's been around 55 years. Just a little that while. That should tell you something. You just guys, a little time. Just a little time. <laughs> you <laughs> guys have almost got it figured out. Uh, well, <laughs> and <laughs> what we don't have figured out is not out there yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. um, we're involved with the residential and the commercial, the industrial, uh, institutional side of moving. We do everything from A to Z. And when I say that, I mean from packing to the actual move to unpacking if necessary. We'll do it um, in your home, no matter what level it is. If you're going from an apartment to a home, we'll go into your apartment, pack you up, move you out, get get you into your new home, unpack you. You sit down and have a margarita during the period. Can't ask for much more. That is completely what I'd be doing. I think we got the right mover here. (laughs) I think we definitely have the right mover here. I like where you're going with this. Thank you. Thank you. you. Because that is totally how I would like to approach moving. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> I it, don't want to do anything when I move again. It's important, though, that you get the right mover yeah. when you do move. And when I say that, you know, you, you need, need to make certain that the person's licensed, all right, and they have all the proper documents. Someone has to come out to your home or your apartment to survey it to make certain that they know what you're moving, know the circumstances around moving your items out of out of one location into another. All of those things are important. If somebody gives you a, a number over the telephone, beware. Beware, yes. Yeah, it's just not going to work. Well, step us through that process, Benny, is, is like, what are the questions that people forget to ask? Oh, there's a tremendous number of questions. Number one, are you licensed? All right. Number two, you, you want to know if you're going to get a, a contract prior to your move. You want something in writing. You got to have something in writing before somebody comes into your home and, and picks up the first bit of your items. If you don't have those things, you you, you just need to be with. So don't hire three dudes in a truck, guy. Huh? Well, uh, let me. Just, I didn't say the other name. Let me just put it this way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, move or beware. All right. And if um, you could easily go online, you can check through the Better Business Bureau. You can check through uh, the uh, Texas um, Motor Vehicle listings and find out. Who are the reputable movers out there? You know, just uh, don't take the first person for $69 an hour because you never know what you're going to get. You're going to get $69 an hour. And, well, you don't know what you're going to pay. You don't know what you're going to get. Know, you don't know what you're going to pay at the end. So just beware. You know, and, and, and you mentioned something very, very important right there. I tell everybody all the time is always beware. The one thing, the one thing that I am very cognizant of is never call up somebody and say, what is your price on the phone? If someone gives me a price on the phone exactly. without knowing exactly what they're trying to move, or what they're probably provided, guess what? It's probably not a service I'm going to be very happy with. Exactly. You know, and, and that goes for real estate. That goes for moving. That goes for everything that you do business in in the world. I tell everybody is, while I love technology, I'm a huge Facebook guy. Right. I right. love the Internet. I love Googling everything, right? Mm-hmm. I will still not do business with anybody unless I get to meet them face to face. That's very important. And that's important. that's not only what I provide, but that's also in, individuals providing service to me. And so I love the philosophy of sitting down and meeting with somebody and saying, if you're just going to get someone on the phone, guess what? I'm probably not your guy. But if you want me to sit down and truly do a better job, because you know when you're moving, you're bringing people into somebody's home, packing up loved and valuable items. Chris, you're so correct. 
And, and 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 those are things that you can't really take lightly. Yeah. And yeah. And, and individuals, you know, who have accumulated a lot of of let's say, you know, love sakes or keepsakes over that period of time, want to make sure those are valued items that they're well taken care of, that the individual going in and out of their home are going to well take care of them of what they've preserved over that period of time. Exactly. you got to just be beware of the people that come into your home, first of all. You know, you, take time and do some homework before somebody just comes into your home and does evaluation of anything. you got to be um, conscious of what you're doing during the moving process. It's extremely important. You know, we have all sorts of tools that we provide to our client base, so the moving process goes very smoothly. That's what we want to make certain that everything happens, in a, first of all, in a timely manner. It happens without cause. And if we're human, should something happen, we are there to stand by it. Right. And, and that's important. You've got to have somebody that's willing to, to take responsibility. I, w- I would absolutely agree, and, and I like the fact that you said that we're all human. You know, one of the things is you're absolutely right. It's the ability to step up and say, I'm sorry, I'll make it right. Exactly. You know, it, exactly. we're all going to make mistakes. It's exactly. how you stand up to those mistakes exactly. that are a true measure of a person. Exactly. So. I once heard a, you know, a friend of mine, uh, we were actually at a, a music concert, but he said something that was uh, rather in- genius at a very young age that I've always kind of latched on to. Uh, we, we had watched two m- musicians perform, and they were they were – both it's just stellar, stellar musicians. That, from a, a, a technical standpoint, one of them had had a little bit of a flub during the performance, and it was very minor. And so after the concert, I I was talking to my, my friend, and I said, you know, I think so and so was better. And and he kind of took his time, and he he paused for a second. He goes, yeah, you know, technically, I think you're you're right. Is but sometimes the true test of genius is how you recover. Exactly. And I was I like, like I like that. Good <laughs> lord, that was awesome. <laughs> That was so <laughs> profound, and, and it's true, you mm-hmm. know, because you can practice something and get it down and, and do that, and there, there, you know, there's certain skill involved in that, obviously, and do it well, but it's the times when you, when you flub, when you have that little error, the class and the skill with which you recover and uh, rise to excellence again is really a, a, a powerful testimony to, to greatness. I think a lot of the, I think it's very important on the front end, though, Joe, to be able to, when you go into a situation where you're going to move somebody from point A to point B, is to make certain that you have all the proper equipment and tools. Mm. I mean, so that you're wrapping the furniture like it should be wrapped. You know, you're padding it, you're shrink wrapping it, you're moving it with care. And when a client sees that done, you know, a lot more confidence is sure. built at that point. So. When, you, when we go in, that's exactly what we, we do. I would have to imagine in moving, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure is, is, oh is, God, is probably so an overstatement of the year. <laughs> you're so correct. You're so correct. So we got a situation right now. We have a market right now and, and, uh, that we have where people are putting their house on the market. They want to buy a new house. Right. It sells the first day they have it on the market. Mm-hmm. On and a 15-day contract. And they have to, get ahead, they have to get out in 30 or 45 days. But their new house isn't going to be ready for maybe, you know, three, four, six months. What do you do? Well, we have uh, eBay. Well, <laughs> we have the ability to store items for you. In yeah, other that's words, where I was you going can, with that. You can, um, <laughs> we can take your items, bring them into storage for you, um, stage them, make certain that they're there when you're ready to go into your new home. Um, that's pretty much something that we do on a routine basis. Yeah, right. You were saying uh, uh, earlier this morning when, before we got on the air that you had like an 80,000 square foot yeah, well, our, warehouse. Yeah, our warehouse space is about 80,000 square feet. And it wow. stays full most of the time. Yeah, it stay, well, especially during the summer months. It stays full more often than not. Um, but we have a lot of off-site opportunities that we work with uh, um, a lot of individuals so that we can get uh, get their items in the warehouse space for the Short period of time. Well, they, well that's know. a logistic issue we're having right now. Because, yeah. and, and of course, Lucas is going to attest to the fact that they had take a listing that sells quickly, and all of a sudden, yeah. like, where do we put these people? And they, and they man, that place to go. Sometimes. That comes up quite often. That over the past, I guess, uh, year, we've seen a lot of uh, people having to move out of their homes because the homes have sold quicker than they thought they they would. You know, there's a lot of that going on. So we try to. Uh, help out the client as much as possible and offer as many options that we have available to us 
to them to make the move real smooth. How, how fast can you move? Let's say someone called today and said, hey, I need to get you out here. I need to move ASAP. Well, th- that's a little issue. I'll be honest with you because there's a lot of that going on. Right. What we try to do is stage our moves um, a day, maybe two days out, all right, our schedule, at least two days out on, on moves like that. We can accommodate you, but it's a, it's a part of fitting you in. Absolutely. How it's much lead time would you recommend? Our, our normal lead time on something like that would be 48 hours. Oh, that's, still, that's yeah. That's, that's still not bad. <laughs> yeah, at all. Yeah. At so, all. so you wouldn't take. But we like to talk to you a lot sooner because we got to send somebody out there. We've got to send a, a, a client, um, one of our um, reps out there, to do an evaluation to find out exactly what's going on. So all of that, that's part of the process. Hey, the yeah. feds have found where I'm at, and I need to move pretty quick. Well, well <laughs> <laughs> he need to move too. We, <laughs> <laughs> he be riding with you. We, right. we, we have a nice new cell for you. And, and, uh, we, you won't need any furniture there. So. And by the way, can you pack up the Ferrari? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, we'll, look, we'll, look, we'll take it all. <laughs> How long can you keep the Ferrari in storage? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, as long had, as you can pay for it. They, <laughs> but Ferraris have to be driven, you know. So you know. Uh, Every once in a while, you're gonna take it out. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Benny, let, let, I want to make sure folks that are listening out there that are getting ready to move know how to, to to track you guys down to get an estimate, to get a quote, that sort of thing. Uh, actually, you can call our office. It's seven one three seven four eight six zero two four, and we'll probably transfer you over to uh, one of our able uh, relocation consultants, and they'll take care of you Im- immediately. That sounds good. Well, for everybody listening, we're coming up on the bottom of the uh, the break. If you want to give us a call, you can reach us at 8. <laughs> <laughs> Almost did it again, huh? You know, Joe, we've been doing this how long? And you I still know. don't know the phone number. And see what happens. I'm sitting in front of this screen that actually has the, the whole number written across there, and that just completely threw me off. Well, the funniest part was you used to say 800. I, that's 800. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> don't try this at home, folks. We are professionals. <laughs> 800-808-5548, 800-808-5548, and we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. I won't dance, don't ask me. I won't dance, don't ask me. I won't dance, madam, with you. My heart won't let my feet do things that they should do. You know what? You're lovely, you know what, you're so lovely. Welcome back to the Real Estate Rat Pack Radio Show with Chris, Joe, and Rob. The crew is taking your calls, so dial in at 1-800-808-5548. Well, you know, it's so funny I didn't get Chris any coffee, so he left. Yes, <laughs> he, he just said, I'm out of here. I, he, you know, I always thought the separating the green M and M's was enough, but now it's <laughs> coffee. You know, this town they're getting, yeah. pick, they're, they're <laughs> it's, getting it's, pick your pick these little. Yeah, you know, the, yeah uh, I'm, I'm sure his manager will be calling the, the diva. Sorry, I guess it wouldn't be a diva. It'd be a devo. D- D- a devo, I guess. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> 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 well, you know, over the break we were talking about this, and we we had kind of touched on this with the the uh, the mover when when uh, Benny was talking that it has become more of an issue, and and the folks that are out there that are f- afraid to put their house on the market just because they haven't you know identified a house or their their builder is not ready yet. Um, like, like this issue that comes up when a house sells before you're ready to move, you, your house isn't complete yet; they haven't finished construction. Uh, or you hadn't found one, or yet. you just haven't found one yet. You've been putting in offers, but but uh, you know other people have been beating you to the to the close. Um, what happens there? Do you guys deal with that? Can you find a, a temporary? Absolutely. Allow me to emphasize on that. Um, we have a lot of clients actually call in um, that are referred to us from their real estate agent. This is what makes our real estate agency, the real estate people, so diverse and different from other firms. Is that they call us and they say, "Hey." Uh, I got your number from my real estate agent who's put my house on the market. Um, For some reason, she's heard that you um, can find us uh, an apartment maybe for six months while our house is on the market or while our new home is being built. And I'm thinking to myself, how nice of your real estate agent to refer you to me, but uh, I'm a real estate broker and an agent myself. But a lot of real estate companies do not deal with the apartment aspect of of the industry. And so um, we can put you in an apartment for six months. 
um, until your new home uh, is built or until your current home is sold. We can get you an apartment for six months uh, or three months at that time, and then you'll be ready to move into your new home. Um, that's what's so unique about our firm is that we do everything. We cover all aspects. And so we're there from really A to Z. Um, find you an apartment, uh, get you inside of that apartment, move you in, get you linked up with uh, Chris's company, improve your credit. Um, well, that would USA. be Joe's company. Um, uh, Joe's and company, Joe's I'm sorry. Company. Chris and Joe's company. <laughs> um, get you linked up with them, get you credit worthy. After you're credit worthy, uh, then we go home shopping, get you linked up with a, a mortgage company. Uh, which is uh, Christopher Kelso. Uh, he gets you uh, approved for a loan, and then we go house shopping and get you into a house. So um, that's what makes our company so unique and different from other real estate firms. And just to reiterate what my husband said, James, is that it really, nothing is too big and nothing is too small to the real estate people. Our slogan is where real people and real estate meet, and that is very true to the word because it's not about how much you're going to get from that deal. It's about how to build a relationship from that deal. Yeah, that's and, what and that's, a, that's a very endearing statement, actually, is the fact that I, I do know a lot of agents out there who will deal only with a sale. And they said, you know what, I don't want to – because I don't know if the consumers know it, but the compensation on a lease is, is, is a rather small as opposed to a sale. So they don't want to, to uh, often work that side. But the fact is, you said it best. It was very succinctly stated was that you're building relationships, and, and the money is a secondary thing. And I think that was a very powerful statement. Absolutely. And um, again, I want to thank you guys for having us. You know, you guys introduce awesome. yourself. And this is a skia. This yeah, is a ahead, skia. skia. You know, my limo is running late today, but I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just to just to touch on that. Um, the real estate people uh, is more than just us representing clients. Uh, we offer um, state of art service uh, and experience. And it's more of a family because we literally are going to take you from becoming the first time leaser to a potential home buyer. And we're going to walk through you, walk with you every step of the way. Uh, we're going to give you all the tools you need to become a home buyer. And it's not a one-time deal. And like you said, um, some some firms don't don't want to go that route. They just want to get the, the big client and get the home and be through with it. No, we're going to take you from point A all the way to point B. Well, yeah, I want to re- reiterate. Building clients for life. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I want to reiterate this. Um, you know, we're in the hottest market. In the United States, right? Mm-hmm. The hottest market. And we have 20... I often said smoking hot. Isn't smoking it? hot. <laughs> true, true, true. The, uh, we have, Rob, tell me, 24, 26,000... 26,000 realtors right now. 26,000 realtors. So let me reiterate, we're not at a shortage for realtors that we can have on the show. Right. Right. <laughs> right? right. We've got a decent selection to choose from. <laughs> right. Like, so, I think I chased off two after the first <laughs> right, trying to, trying right. to get in the studio. Man. Right. Right. Uh, we, the folks we invite on, we invite on for a particular reason. And what, you know, I, it was, this was a hot button for me because in my business in credit repair, uh, I talk to realtors and lenders who will tell me, Joe, I, I'm just so busy with qualified buyers right now. I just don't have time to, to focus on the, uh, the folks who don't have good credit. And for me, that's such a short-sighted kind of mentality to have because it really is good business, good business to me, and, and the kind of business I want to support and help grow and build in the, the greatest city in the wonderful United States is businesses that are focused on relationship building. And that's, that is really what it's about, you know, to deliver quality service is, like Chris was talking about, is not just Google somebody, find the best price, and order. Right, especially when it comes to the biggest transaction the average person will ever make, which is a home. Build a relationship. And so for me, when I get a a, a realtor or somebody that says, I'm not interested in messing with you because you can't buy and you can't give me something right now, Mm -hmm. that's just an annoyance for me. And and I really don't want those kind of folks on the show. I love having people who are interested. Worse than that, they just don't call you back. (laughs) (laughs) I I don't want to insult them, so I'm just not going to call them. And I'll tell you you this. We have some renters that are not interested in being homebuyers at the moment. But I'll tell you one thing. They're interested in being on the right path of being very responsible people and having their credit credit worthy and interested in investing into a real estate property. And so we've got some, we've got some clients that have a one credit um, leasing a one bedroom, one bath, 700 square foot for 2450 a month who are interested in investing in a 90 to $110,000 home and finding a potential tenant for that home. And we do that as well. 
Uh, we've got some investors that have some investment properties that we put tenants inside of. Um, and so we provide that service also with uh, property management for that investor. Um, so it's all about just being on the right path. I think everyone, even if you don't want to be a home buyer, be a responsible person of getting your credit credit worthy and, um, you know, potentially being an investor in real estate um, and, and, and traveling that avenue as well. Even if you don't want to be a home buyer, be an investor, uh, purchase something. So that's very important. Well, and we can lead you in that way as well. And, you know, one of the things that's still out there and it's still prevalent today and it's still something that holds true is real estate investing is still the number one predicator of wealth in the United States. If you look at every single one, millionaires, billionaires, et cetera, et cetera, the one thing they do have in common is their real estate holdings. They're, they're, yeah. is, well, you know, is what Warren, they do in regards to that. Warren Buffett announced yesterday getting into another real estate company. I don't know if you saw that. Yes, I did. I saw so, that. I mean, he, he recognizes that. And, of course, he was the number one investor in um, – uh, manufactured homes. I can't call them mobile homes. That is correct. But 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 real estate people have to live somewhere. Period. Mm-hmm. I mean, and unless you want to live with your shopping cart underneath the West Belt uh, and, and West Time, that's right. And it's still one of the best investments you can make. Whether you are leasing your own property and building your your, your equity for the future, or it's something you want to build for you and your family, it's still one of the best investments you can make. And getting back to what Joe was saying is, I also tell everybody is, you know, you want to also build as we were talking about opportunities for the future. That's one of the things I loved working with y'all and, and speaking with y'all about even before the show as well is the fact is is that it's so short-sighted if you don't talk to an individual about what their long-term plan is and be involved with their that individual for the long term. Exactly. It's very short-sighted to say, hey, I'm going to take the money at this short time and run. And that's what you do. You work with your clients. You have recurring clients that come back over and over for those negotiations. Absolutely. You know, when I go recruit, and by the way, uh, Yusa Community College just actually asked Myself, Misty, and Askia to be the mentors uh, for UC Community College real estate uh, real estate uh, institution there. Congratulations! Um, wow, very we cool. accepted awesome. that. We're honored uh, about. We're honored for that. We'll be doing that in August, fall of this year in August. Uh, we just uh, did a presentation there. I want to say on Thursday, actually, this past Thursday, we did a presentation at HCC, the uh, six ten campus. And there were about 30 to 35 students there that we educated about real estate and our services because they're inquiring about a real estate career. And uh, I want to touch on some key points uh, that you just mentioned, Chris, is that right now it is a great opportunity to get into the real estate business, but to get with the right real estate company as well. Um, When you just mentioned that we have renters who we walk from A to Z, uh, for those who are interested in having a real estate career, I always use this uh, analogy here. If, If I went to Walmart, and I gave 50 people my cards and I said, hey, you looking to buy a house and ready to close within 30 days? You're probably going to come out with zero people that day. But if you go into Walmart and give out 50 cards and say, hey, are you looking for an apartment to lease right now uh, to move in within 30 to 35 days? You probably will come out with four to five people. And the ones that didn't come out with you will at least be able to refer you someone. Everybody's somebody always has somebody to rent. Or you come out with a black eye for the manager and say, please don't come here anymore. (laughs) (laughs) So if those people do follow you and you do get them into an apartment, well, you know what you have when you put them into an apartment? You have a potential buyer in the next 12 to 16 months. That's what you have. have Give them the mic. have a mover. You'd have to add, I'd also have a mover for you as well, though. (laughs) Yes. Like I said, our company, that's one unique thing about us is that we move our clients for free. For the first two hours, the moving services are free up on us. On, our, on the real estate people, we move you for free with the moving company. Um, why wouldn't you use our services? And a lot of people ask us, they say, well, how do you get paid? I say, well, the company that we refer you to, they beg us to send them traffic. But we will only send our clients to properties that we feel are adequate enough to be able to take care of you once you occupy that apartment home. And so um, they love our services. We, we, customer service is what we strive for. And, you know, that's that, what you just got through saying is very important. I can't tell you how many people... How many clients every day say, how do you, how does my agent get paid? Or how does my agent get paid if I'm referring somebody to an apartment or if they're buying a new home? And, you know, and, and for all those listening out there, especially new home buyers, is there are referral services. It's built into the system. It's built into the product, generally speaking. And that's the great thing about it. You don't have to worry about having to come up with all these commissions by engaging with a professional. You know, one of the things I, I can't stand is when someone sits out there and we were talking about this uh, a little while ago, uh, Benny and I were, is, you know, when someone calls up on the phone, like you mentioned, or someone will ask you and say, you know, I want to buy this, but I really don't want to have an agent because I want to avoid those those fees. Guess what? You're going to you're gonna unfortunately miss out on a greater opportunity, which is working with a professional who can walk you through the opportunity, not only today, 
but in the future, and save you money by knowing things that you might not know. I wanted I wanted to ask that question when we come back from the break because we, we're up against a break right now. Why should I mean? Can I just go out and find my own apartment? Why Why should I use you guys uh, when you know when Misty's I'm looking over for here apartment? shaking her head? Yes, but, but we have to <laughs> save it for when we come okay, back from the break. I got the answer for you, Joe. <laughs> she was chomping at the bit over there. She's like, I want to get on this one right now. We're going to ask Benny the same question. Why, why can't I move I'd, myself? Yes. I had to yes. be careful because she was waving her shoe at me. Joe, no, like, didn't we just bend your arm it. and <laughs> pop you outside the back of your head before we got on the radio and told you why you should use us? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get that question answered when we come back after a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Welcome back to the Real Estate Rat Pack Radio Show with Chris, Joe, and Rob. The crew is taking your calls, so dial in at 1-800-808-5548. Mike's on! (laughs) Mike's on. We're sharing mics over here. Our our producer keeps sneaking up on those mics on. We're already in the middle of a conversation. I I feel like it's it's like a a superpower or something, you know. Mike's on! Well, let's go back back to that question that you posed. Yeah. You know, there's apartments up there. There's a big phone number out there. Why can't I just call it myself? The reason that you need to use uh, an agency like the real estate people to find you a rental is because we know the best deals out there. We are able to guide you and facilitate you through the process where it's less headache because you drive around wasting gas going from apartment to apartment mm. when literally if you called us, we can take you to, we'll give you at least about one or two options. But when we engage with our clients, we've been doing this for so long, we get a feel for our clients to know exactly what they're looking for and we send you to the right place. So Why what's, the, what's the number one thing that people don't know about apartment leasing? The number one thing that people don't know don't about know. in what aspect? And what, in any aspect. The number I mean, they come to you and say, I'm looking for oh, a place. You know what? That is a great question. They don't I was know. looking for a they, great they, answer they, to they, go with they, that. They actually, <laughs> let me tell you one thing they don't know about apartment leasing. The number one thing is that they don't know what the market is calling for as far as rental prices. That's the first thing. Second thing, they don't even know apartment locators exist. They're like, you're a what? Apartment locator? I could just call my real estate agent I, to do I that, right? Down I saw, tree, she, hit an your, apartment. Apartment, your, your real estate agent probably doesn't know the industry like I do when it comes to apartments. But like I said before, well, like my wife just touched on, uh, the reason why you want to use an apartment locator seriously is that uh, when I have an A1 client call me with perfect credit score, make six figures a year, and he says, well, uh, <clears throat> hey, I, I got your number from someone, and they told me you can help me, but I'm, I'm tired of looking myself. I need you to find a place for me. I said, well, I could do one or two things for you. I could shoot you to the right property right now and save you a lot of time and gas, or because I know you're a smart guy, I can have you ride around for another two or three hours, then come see me. Two or three days, probably yeah. more like Then, <laughs> then yeah. come see me, and then you'll really be able to appreciate me because you're eventually going to find the property I'm going to send you to. You're eventually going to find it, but it's going to take you days to find it. Why not just get you there right now? We also can negotiate your rent. Um, if you call a property and say, hey, I'm interested in a three-bedroom, two-bath, and they tell you fifteen fifty, if I call the property, I might be able to get it for fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, because you know what it's, it's yeah. gone exactly. for previously. Exactly. Yeah. And not to mention, the not to mention, the re- the so we've already answered the question why you want to use an apartment locator. Now, why do we want to use the real estate people? You want to use the real estate people because, one, we can negotiate your – well, two, we can negotiate your deal. But, one, we have a moving service that will move you for free as well. Um, you don't have to pay for that service. So that's uh, another incentive that we give you. But we're very knowledgeable about the industry, knowledgeable about the market as well, and it's a free service, and we shoot you to the right property that can accommodate what you're looking for immediately. James is I, really good at segues. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I want to ask the same question, yeah. yeah I got a couple. Of, question is, is I want to ask, why don't I want to? I want to move myself. Hey, why, I got a I couple strapping redneck buddies with trucks. And, and I, just, I got a case of beer. I, I just <laughs> I just throw them a, a six-pack and a pizza, and wow, we're good to go. Wow. You're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you, are, you are in trouble. First of all, no six-pack before they pick up any of your furniture. <laughs> any yes, of your fine after, furniture. After, yes, right. absolutely. Pizza none first, of, beer after. None of your fine furniture. <laughs> the, the best thing about having a moving company come in is that You've got qualified people coming in to move your valuable items, all right, your valuable furniture, uh, your antiques, the things. These people do this every day. They know exactly how to wrap it. 
They know exactly how to pad it. They know exactly how to load it so that it goes from point A to point B without damage. You know, you sit down and have a margarita with us while your moving is going on and point to things that you need to have done. You know, it can't be any easier than that. You can't be any easier. All you do at the end of at the end of the move is you, you write your check, you bring your credit card out, you pay for it, and, and it's done. We take your beds down. We set your beds up. All you have to do is put your linen on. Everything's in place. Well, you want to you see your friends scatter like roaches when the lights come on? Just tell them you're moving. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's why I There's not enough truck. beer or yes. pizza. There's not That's, enough I, beer or pizza. Exactly. I won't own a truck just for that reason. What's the number one thing that people don't know about uh, uh, hiring a mover? Well, I guess the number one thing that they don't know is the fact that uh, it comes with a skill set. You know, we've got certain people that provide certain skills uh, in, the, in the moving industry. That goes from our packers to our assemblers to our drivers to the, to, to, to the people that load the trucks. All of those are skill sets that are necessary, all right, to have a, a a good, strong move from point A to point B. Those those things are. Important. I would also imagine that, and I, I never See, actually thought easy, about so it. So when you buy that new house, he can make it easy. You can sit <laughs> yeah. back with the margarita <laughs> and he'll do all the work. I, right. I, I'm that's telling exactly you, that's right. the only way I'm going to move. Is, exactly is if right. y'all will pack it up, all of it, everything, we, and put it where it was in the other place. Because I don't want anything to do with it. We do that. But, you know, I would imagine that, that something that I, I imagine comes up, I don't know, for folks that try to have their friends do it. I mean, there's a liability issue when you're lugging heavy stuff around. Um, what hap- you know, what happens if a person gets hurt while they're trying to pick up your dresser that's a, a friend of yours? No beer for him. No <laughs> beer for him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, well, not only that, what happens to your dresser after he gets hurt? See, R- right, when right. he gets hurt, that dresser's going to fall, you know, and something's going to happen. So... You eliminate all of that by getting a qualified mover to come in and handle your uh, your your items from point A to point B. Well, you know, often I've, I've people talk about, you know, I'm, I'm trying to save money here. That people try to save money on commissions like that. There's a value. That, a lot of people go out and buy expensive cars, BMWs, the right. Mercedes, things like that, because they have a perceived value in that. There is a value in having a quality first class job done for you. And, exactly. And, and, and we talk about that, and that's why we have experts on it, people exactly. who are, are – great at what they do mm-hmm. and yes they're compensated but you know what it's worth it it is it is in the long run exactly and and <clears throat> one thing about the real estate people is that uh we care about our clients no one cares how much you know until they know how much you care absolutely and customer service is something that we thrive on five-star customer service you won't get anything less from the real estate people you just will not get anything less from that because that's what we teach that's our motto that's our code of ethics is that no one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. And I think that every smart business individual, the, the number one uh, success point in your business is customer service. Customer service. I mean, that's the only thing we have to have to sell, really, is service. We don't really sell homes. We don't own these homes. We don't own these apartments. We are selling a service. You know, I, I, I've definitely, as I've, as I've gotten older... <laughs> yeah, I, I get to be the seasoned one. You're you're the seasoned one. Yes. As I've gotten older, one of the one of my bigger life lessons that I really try to pass on to my my kids is learning to value your time. Exactly. Uh, we only we all have the same 24 hours a day, and how much time, how much value we place on that time really dictates a lot about the course we take in life. Uh, can I mow my yard? Absolutely. Can I change the oil in my car? Yes, I can. There's a bunch of behaviors that I can do, but it's simply not profitable for me to do it because it costs me more to take my time and do those actions. And it's no fun. It's, and it's no fun, yes. Right. <laughs> I mean, the number one reason why I don't mow my yard is because it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> it's and, too and, hot. And, <laughs> but, and, I mean, you know, if I do it, it takes three hours, you know, because I'm out there edging and bl- all that stuff. The crew comes in, in and out. They're done in 30 minutes. And the, the dollar amount that they charge me versus me doing it, it's just not worth it. Same goes for moving. Same goes for me running around town looking for a lease property. I don't have time to do it. I, 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 if I took the time, it would cost me more than it would just to hire someone who's already an expert because there's a learning curve, an experience curve, that you can't anticipate in any project. Well, and you'll go back right now that we're in an age of computers and the Internet, and people are out there getting information, so they think they have the information. But the, the one thing I always say is that they can't get the experience. I can go out and find that apartment. I can go ahead and find out how much that apartment's going for. But they don't have the experience about 
negotiating or locating what's the best lo- what's the best location for me and for my lifestyle and things like that. God bless you. And uh, so that's the piece that that I always talk about when you're using experts. Is that yeah, you can get the information. I know of no other industry that's required by law to tell their clients that it's something that they can do themselves. We have to do that in credit repair, which I mean that's just hilarious to me. Uh, can you imagine the uh, the landscaper? You know, Mr. Customer, uh, we're here to mow your yard. Uh, just wanted to let you know this is something you can do yourself. <laughs> 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 but yet we are required to tell folks this in credit repair. Our clients know that. That's why they're sitting in front of us. Because anybody who's ever tried to pick up the phone and call a credit bureau mm-hmm. already knows the frustration. Right? Absolutely. I often tell our clients that, that uh, they are paying us to be frustrated on their behalf. Right, exactly. I do. I hate traffic. Loathe traffic. I don't mind driving. Hate traffic. For that reason alone, I would not be out driving around looking for an apartment. There's no way, no way. I would absolutely, hands down, no doubt about it. Not just a sales pitch. Saying it, I would 100% call an apartment locator. I would call the real estate people, and I would say, shameless plug. I would call Nothing the real estate people that. and say, "This is exactly what I'm looking for. I already know what it is. Here's what I want in a you know pool. Here's what I want, and all this sort of thing. Identify that. Get back with me. I'm done. I'm off to the other things I we're, really we're want to be doing." We're about three minutes here, so we we need to go into our lightning round, basically, yes. Carolyn. And so, Ben, let's start with you and talk about. What do you want people to walk away from today and then your contact information? Well, what I'd like to see people walk away from today uh, is to have an understanding of what's necessary from a quality mover. Number one, you have to have somebody that comes out and surveys your home or surveys your apartment or or your building, your office, whichever, so that they have a good idea as to, number one, the equipment necessary, the manpower necessary to give you a quality price something that you can go for. Uh, also, make certain that you have a, um, a a written document to secure. In addition to that, our contact information is A, Rocket Moving and Storage. We're at 713-748-6024. Please give us a call. Let us be your mover. And you also can see them on www.arocket.com. That's exactly correct. I know that because I've got your card right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope we you, I hope that you keep it handy. <laughs> and James and Misty, what do you want people to walk away with here? What we want people to walk away with today is mm-hmm. to know that the real estate people is a boutique agency that can cater to our clients and give them the attention that they need for huge commitments as far as finding a place, finding investment property, luxury rental, or purchasing or selling. We are literally your one-stop shop to handle all of your real estate needs. You can find us on the web. Our website is actually still under construction, but I just want to give it to you because it's going to be an awesome website. It's www.texasrealestatepeople.com. You can also give us a call at our office, 281-493-2100. We're also on Facebook at at Askia Bell, at James Lucas, at Misty Lucas, Facebookers. We're, we're, out in, we're out in the community, folks, so real estate people, here we come. James, you got some last words here. Well, I need to ask my wife, can I say one last thing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Give, 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 give us a call at 281 493 We revamped our whole website. We were apartment search and J. Danner Properties in the past. We revamped it to the real estate people um, to cater uh, our clients even more and coming for listings and purchasing and, of course, our niche, apartment locating. So give us a call, all of our thousands of clients that are out there, 281-493-2100. You know, and the one last thing I want everybody to know is when life gives you a 100 reasons to cry, show life you have a 1,000 reasons to smile. Wow. Oh, love, love it. it. Thank you. That's really good. And very appropriate what we got out there. That is one we found on the Internet. Until next time, we are out. The question is, who's Frank, who's Sammy, who's Dean, and who's the other guy? Uh, Chris is yes, Chris Frank, is Frank he's Dean. Dean, and I'm Sammy. Yes, yeah. he's Dean. <laughs> right. yeah. So tune in to The Really Big Show every Saturday at 9 a.m. right here on 100.7 The Word, KKHT.